Um, check this out. If we have a velocity, if we know the velocity, we'll say meters per second of a thing, and the time that it's traveling, the time in seconds. Um, and let's say, let's say you're going 10 meters per second. Here's your velocity. Um, you're going 10 meters per second for 10 seconds. Constant velocity. If you go 10 meters per second for 10 seconds, how far did you go? 100. 10 meters, meters. per second. You're traveling at 10 meters per second for 10 seconds. How about the velocity? You went 100 meters. Right? Each second you went 10 meters. And you did that 10 times, so you went 100 meters. Right? So check it out. 100 meters is the area under the velocity curve. The area under the velocity curve is the distance that you traveled. And you can look at that and say, well, that was easy. Because it's, it's a rectangle. Duh. Yeah, what if the, if the velocity is changing? Let's say... Let's say you started off at the stop sign and you accelerated at a perfectly constant rate. Like Dominica when she drives. <laughs> perfect, perfect acceleration. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, and uh, so eventually, at the end of 10 seconds, you're going 10 meters per second. You like my driving. <laughs> Do I though? Yeah. So you start at zero meters per second, Somewhere in the middle here, you're probably doing five meters per second at five seconds, if I had to guess. And, uh, and then at the end of the 10 seconds, you're doing 10 meters per second. What's the total uh, distance that you traveled? Five meters. Close. <laughs> that would not be a very far drive. Wait, 50. Sorry. So think about it. Um, if you, at the end you're going 10 meters per second, at the beginning you're going 0 meters per second. If we find your average velocity over this time period, your average velocity is this, right? But it's the area of a triangle. Yeah, so you could look at it like this average, and you have a rectangle, 10 times 5. Or you could say the area of a triangle is half base times height. So uh, base times height is 10 times 10 is 100, half of that, 50. Boom. Uh, 50 meters. But again, it's the area under the velocity curve is the distance that you travel. It's kind of cool. So uh, finding the area under the curve, I'm going to start using the word integral. When you find the integral of a velocity curve, it gives you the distance. But if you find the integral of any rate of change, velocity is a rate of change, is distance per time. If you take the integral of any rate per time, so if there's, you're like filling up um, a fish tank at a certain rate, Right, you take the derivative or take the integral, and you'll find how much water you filled by taking the integral of the rate at which it was filling. So any rate you can you can find the area under the curve of a rate, and it'll give you how much stuff, whatever your stuff is, rate. So um, is there is Wait there a way to find an integral what? on this calculator? Can you please give me? Maybe. A better definition yes. of integral, so I don't <laughs> lose my mind. Area under the curve. Area. I need a better one. Yeah. So I send that back. <laughs> yeah. Return to sender. <laughs> so how about this? So let's say um, you come out the gate, woo, whipping, and then you're like, whoa, po po, slow down. <laughs> That's actually. <laughs> That's more like you. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so you do this. Uh, how far did you travel? What is the distance you traveled? 10 seconds. You went for 10 seconds. It was 10 meters per second, then it was more, and then it was less. But we're, we're looking at some symmetry here. Yeah. And we're just going to say that this fits here. And so 100. Yeah. So this is 100 meters. Right. And then, again, there's, there's a simple geometry to this where we can cut and paste and say this is 10 by 10 and it's 100. But, you know, what if, what if your velocity curve you know, look like this, or whatever. You could take the integral, you could find the area under this curve, 
-hmm. and find exactly how far you travel. Damn. It's pretty groovy, man. No way, dude. No way. 